So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle and brother? I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar, and the sea, and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? Bad smells and awful noises. Why would I miss that? <laughs> because it adds character to a place, you goose. <laughs> High Town's nice enough, I suppose, for people who like clean streets and polite neighbours. I thought you were different. Wilder. More dangerous. Someone worthy of a duel. I'm just as wild and dangerous as I was back in Lowtown. I just sleep on cleaner sheets now. If that's not a challenge, I don't know what is. Who needs clean sheets anyway? I should go. That was an interesting diversion. I don't want you wandering the streets alone at this hour. <laughs> You're sweet, but I can watch out for myself. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? No. This was just for fun. Good. Come see me at the tavern sometime. I know a cosy little nook behind the ale barrels. Enchantment? No, not enchantment. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. <laughs> What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies. I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Wait, wait. You say you saw Leandra? I did. What of it? Blue dress, grey hair. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you?
Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ah. <sighs> It's not too late. She could still be alive. Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another. More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. You've been here before, haven't you? I wonder if we'll find more than just a sack of bones this time. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. There. More blood. They are here somewhere. Looks like someone forgot to conceal the door to his house. Mother! Alessa! I know this locket. It belongs to Mother. Does he... live here?
is this? The woman in the painting. She almost looks like mother. A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now! This is quite a collection of books. Blood magic? Necromancy? Where did he get all these? Why would he have these? What's he planning? We're good to go. Something else I can help with. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. You're crazy. I get it. Where's my mother? I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us.
There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. You know me. I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Do you want them to lock me up too, Uncle? I... I don't know. <sighs> you would have been better off if you were just normal like Carver. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. You've had a long day, so I'll go to the gallows to talk to Carver. He'll need to know about this. Take care, my boy. I... I feel I should say something. I know you're not good at emotional stuff. At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was, not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think, you stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. <laughs>